First, I did what is called, referred to as rental arbitrage, where you rent somebody's house and then you turn it into an Airbnb and rent it out you know, on a day-to-day basis. Uh, you'll obviously let the landlord know you're going to be doing this, and then you just go and set it up, you furnish it, and then you uh, rent it out to people on Airbnb. And the idea is that you want to make more money than what you're paying in rent and expenses, right? Yep. Pretty straightforward concept. Uh, scenario number two is when you just manage somebody else's home, right? Now, this is like the number one most common thing in vacation rental markets. So if you're to think like Sedona, any beach in Florida, uh, Gatlinburg, like these are all areas where people are just buying these beautiful homes and just renting them out full time. It's a vacation rental area. That's all it is, right? Like hardly anyone lives there. The first two scenarios, then we got scenario number three, which is, of course, the one that probably people want to say is the king on the castle is owning the spot because all you So please talk about that. Yeah, yeah. So owning is like, is the best, right? So you yeah. have to have the amount of the ability to get a mortgage and the down payment, right? On top of that, you also have to have the ability to get the furniture. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff, right? Now, the reason why people don't just buy homes like crazy is because of those reasons. It's hard to uh, get 10 mortgages in one year uh, because of the amount of capital that it takes, right? Yeah.